Ladies and gentlemen, the day hath arrived, or has it. Anyways, Samsung threw their event in New York City. They did it in Times Square, and they did it with some style because they did it at the Radio City Music Hall. Now, it seems to me, though, a lot of the rumors that we had heard up until the point of this execution have all been true. And even though this announcement has come out, it kind of reminds me of the Sony PlayStation 4 launch, where, you know, they said, oh, hey, we have this, but, um, well, we don't, maybe not, have this. Well, you guys will see later. But anyways, let's see what actually did happen at the event because we had our man Jonathan Morrison live at the scene. He got to see the hands-on demo. So let's jump in and let's check out that footage. We sent our man on the spot, Jonathan Morrison, out to New York to cover the Samsung event that was located and hosted in New York City's very own Radio City Music Hall. As you can see, the hall is absolutely gorgeous and happens to be perfect for revealing Samsung's the next big thing. Right off the bat, Samsung spokesman came on stage and started comparing the S4 to how much better it was than its predecessors. You can see it's pretty much the same size as the S3 other than a minor width difference and weight change at 103 grams from the previous S3's 132 grams. Also, the phone is slightly taller and a bit thinner at just 7.9 millimeters thick. They've also upped the display to a full 5-inch 1080p Super AMOLED display with 441 pixel density that gives the display a truly crisper result. The screen can be comparable to our recently reviewed Sony Z, but surpasses its display quality with its crisper, vivid, more saturated color. One of the really cool features about the new S4 is its camera. One of the biggest upgrades to the phone is its Hallmark's camera quality. The phone's loaded with a new 13 megapixel rear facing camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera as well. Now here's where it actually starts to get interesting though. The processor, hmm. The processor still hasn't been officially announced at the moment, but speculations have pointed to either a Samsung Exynos 5 octa-core CPU or a Qualcomm Snapdragon. Now, the model also comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM, and it also comes with 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and you can also expand it with a micro SD card. As far as cool features, the S4 comes with some really unique features where it lets you just scroll through web pages or photos without even touching the phone. No, it's not the rumored eye scrolling thing, but you can use your hand and not actually touching it by just swiping your hand across the screen. Another really cool feature is the dual screen photo taking where you can see how both the rear and front facing cameras are projecting without even switching between them. All right, folks, so there you have it. It happened. It happened in New York City. You guys saw it, but it still leaves some questions as there is some doubt if these are actually the final specs as far as the CPU goes. If you guys look around the internet and you start reading articles, they contradict each other all over. And I'm talking about even some of the top competing sites. Now, The Verge, they probably have the information that's going to stick. They say these processes are most likely what is going to actually be in the phones when they come out. But like the Sony launch, there's still questions of whether this will be the final specifications. All in all though, pretty cool stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing it and reviewing it for Samsung. The screen from what I heard is really awesome and I'm really looking forward to taking a look at that screen in person and seeing how cool it really is. So hopefully when the launch comes, I'll be able to make that event and won't be at my other job. But until then, hope you guys liked that video. If so, make sure you Hit that like button, show me that you appreciate these videos. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to Tech with Tomorrow so you never miss out on any of the video coolness we're doing here. Peace out, my brothers and sisters.